Yo zora bo kakuru na kaeraboshi woi man Why is it lagging? Hey, that's me right here! We're back here with Tales of Symphonia. A few notes I have. Get them out of the way, shall we? Two, I, f I figured out two more super moves you can do together. Omega, uh, Omega Tempest plus Photon equals a thing that I forget the name of. So that's uh, Lloyd's Omega Tempest reigns Photon. I recalled that in, oh, I should pause, uh, in Tales of Zillia, Pow Blade plus Tiger, uh, sorry, Pow Hammer plus Tiger Blade equals Pow Blade. And it does in this game as well. So Colette's Pow Hammer plus Lloyd's Tiger Blade equals Pow Blade, which is pretty dope. I sold some gear in between last time and now. I did a lot of, I, I did some, some grinding, got a bunch of money and uh, bought all the food that could possibly be bought from the store. So we're well stocked on several things. And also I think I might have gotten some new equipment. Here's all the equipment that I have in my inventory right now anyways. I did some gathering of certain things. And it occurred to me, the reason that a lot of us haven't been getting skills back is because the way you learn them is you, you it's not just using skills in general. You use a particular skill to learn like the next level of that skill is sometimes. And uh, because I am dumb, I have had all my friends of many of, all of my friends' spells turned off for a long time. I've, I, Cause I, I think it was when I was doing the fire boss, I turned on only his uh, water ones for so for genius anyways so let me just turn all of them back on so he's gonna learn a bunch of new moves as, as it goes on now is there anyone else's skills i've turned off that i shouldn't have uh nope the kratos is missing a lot of skills though so i should probably play as him and just spam different moves at some point so he learns a bunch of new ones i did a bunch of cooking leveling up um i think we maybe are, are maxed out everyone is maxed out with every recipe now in between last episode and now, I did a bunch of cooking as everybody. Yeah, looks like everyone's got uh, maximum uh, proficiency and everything. I didn't know this priorly, but you can actually fail the cooking thing. I mean, obviously not that you particularly do have anything to do with it, but you can RNG fail the cooking sections. I knew because Rain did that a few times. And at some point, I got a skit that said Chef Rain, but then I, I didn't get it fast enough, and I wasn't. I was like, I, hesitant. I was like, do I should wait till I back on recording to get this one? So it went away. I'm sure it'll come back the next time she fails to make something. So maybe we just actually maybe let, let's just equip her. Let me sandwiches so that she has a higher chance of failing it at some point and we can see that skit again she also got a new skill called nurse which uh the most hilarious thing ever i thought it would be like a, just like a bunch of like rays of healing light come out of her but no a bunch of nurses run onto the battlefield past every character and patch them up with like first aid so that's the best skill ever in anything I think we agree. We got uh, I, uh, our a thousandth battle, as you can see down there, at, in sometime in between last episode and now, and I got a Steam achievement for it, so that's cool. We got a Steam achievement for it. And the last note I have here is that I think I figured this out at some point, and then I forgot it at some point also because I I feel like I knew this, but um, the terrain in which you encounter the enemies changes what kind of enemies it, uh, they are. So I was trying to find a lot of more human enemies because um, some of them have uh, drops some valuable stuff, like the thief drops like the magic cloth, which you can sell for a thousand gold. And if you're walking on the path like this, then that is a thing that will actually happen. So that's what I did. That's what I was doing. So, um, all that recap out of the way, let's carry on. We were attacked. Also, I'm not sure exactly why, but the game seems to be lagging out a little bit uh, today. Yeah, there we go. Oh, say, I've got, um, a supercharged up. Let's use it on the big one, shall we? Yeah. You're about to get pow hammered into oblivion. That wasn't pow hammer. Never mind. I take it back. All right, do I, where's Omega Tempest from you? That wasn't Omega Tempest. Uh, whatever, we did a lot of damage with it, whatever it was. We didn't get any supers, I don't think, but that works. All right, I swapped my power hammer, uh, my neutral thing out for power hammer. That's why um, I couldn't find power hammer. <laughs> was that a bit too much? Maybe a little. There we go, made sandwich. All righty, uh, so I say we head up north. Um, it looks like on the map there, there is something uh, just west of the bridge. There's like a little island with a, a city in the middle of it, but also just up north in these woods, there's a place we haven't been to yet. So I say we investigate that. Oh, also in, in up on this big crevice over here. Although that sort of looks like more of the place where a design ranch would be, wouldn't it? Or, you know, a human ranch made by designs. Actually, now that I say that, this looks like an awful lot like one of those, doesn't it? Oh boy, we're gonna be heading here sometime soon, I guess then. Let's have a look at it. Yep, the Asgard Ranch. Well, let's just have a, a, a scout it out, shall we? They're probably just gonna say, we should leave. A human ranch. I better not get too close. Yep. Well, <laughs> we know what the first five square meters of it looks like now, so that's knowing it's half the battle. It's not actually that close to Asgard. I would have said it's closer to whatever's up here. Oh. Man. Is that a, is that a Tower of Salvation? Or um, of Mana, by chance? Oh, it's really big, whatever it is. What is going on here? Let me just do a little bit of a savey action here. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> ah, I was so focused on this getting to the front door of that place that I didn't even notice the thing attacked in my face. All the new weapons we have look so cool. Especially Genesis. I like it. It fits him really well. Mine looks kind of cool also, but it also looks like it would not slice very well. <laughs> what is this? Tower of Mana! Okay, they're just gonna like re relaxedly int introduce us to it. Hey, this is the Tower of Mana, by the way. <laughs> just like, cool. Hello? 
The music just seems so relaxed for how much of a big deal they've made out of this place. And it sure is lucky there was no town around here when it sprung up out of the ground. Marvelous! So, so this is the Tower of Mana, built to gaze upon the Tower of Salvation. Oh, Tower of Salvation is a thing. Yes, I think it is. What's that? <laughs> Honestly, the lady, we studied it in class before. It's a tower that was used as a temple by the Church of Martell to offer prayers to the Tower of Salvation. Although, it was closed a long time ago since monsters started appearing inside. <laughs> it's rain just in the background. I simply must go inside. According to the Book of Regeneration, it's very likely that this is a seal. But there's no Oracle Stone. It appears to be locked. Ah, damn it. Even I can't open it. If we cannot go inside, there is no point in remaining here. Yes, you're right. Lloyd, let's go. Well, we could always try smashing a window, or maybe not. <laughs> ha! All right, well, I tried smashing a window. It didn't work so well. It's locked. Got it. <laughs> oh, I love this song so much. It's so cheery. Well, that was short-lived. Uh, I suppose we'll head on. Okay, so we could we could cross the bridge. Um, I mean, it looks pretty barren over on this west side here. Is that where Lewin is, maybe? No, wait, that's... No, maybe. Wait. Okay, I got it. Okay. There is a, a thing over on that bridge there. It looks like a small village. That would be important. But I really want to check over here and see if this is Lewin over on the other side of the world here. Okay, so there's still... Uh, if you see in the middle of the continent there, there's like a place we haven't been in, but there's no land route to it. So I guess we'd need to take a boat. Oh, and then over here, this I guess would take us back to... Oh, man, they're just waiting on the other side of the bridge for me. This would take us back to Palma Costa region. Or sorry, the... Uh, where is our hometown called? Acelia region. Ooh, I got it! I am Rover! Whoa! I guess that's better than Item Thief. When did I got it? Apparently I got it. Hey, Genus, why is there, is there any particular reason you ain't got any new skills yet? Which which ones did I want to use? Uh, probably fire. Oh, I don't have fire equipped to my thing. Let me just put fireball on see if that gives me eruption. Eh, 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 ow! Don't bother me! Come on, just face the right way. There we go. No, don't take him out with angel feathers, I need to do this. Okay. All right! This probably gets eruption, right? Yeah! It's fire. Whoa, ooh, whoa, cool. I like. All right, we gotta use another one. Uh, wind blade probably turns into air thrust, so let's do that. Eh. Here comes Nurse. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, Nurse. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to do the spell, but that works. Well done, making a sandwich, Rain. So proud. All right, what ones do we need still? Uh, Thunder blades. So that would probably be lightning, you would think. I should probably swap to Kratos and get all his skills as well. Colette, not cold. Cause she can't feel anymore. <sighs> Say, isn't it kind of cold? Ah, uh, really? It's freezing! I'm surprised it doesn't bother you, Colette! The winds from the holy ground of Carlon blow through this area and can cause extreme temperature drops. Ah, well. Colette's probably got her mind on the task of regeneration and is too excited to feel the cold. Thank you, Lloyd. Aw. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised that <laughs> Lloyd's poker face was enough to fool any of them, but good man all the same. Oh, lightning is already on my hot tips, so let's just cast that. Please, someone protect me. Thanks, Rain. For protecting little uh, little bro. I said little sis. Whoa! Oh my god, that's so cool! I just want to see it again. Oh my god. It does so much damage, too. I need to see that drop down. Oh, I didn't equip it to the... Oh, hang on. No, that has to be... That has to be the upper one. <laughs> Please show me that again. Please. Wanna charge? Wanna charge? Is that what he said? Thunderblade! Because <laughs> the sword comes down, right? And you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. I bet that that does a lot of damage, but then... Uh, oh god, I forgot that I'm not Colette. I can't just go attacking. But then it, like, lightning rods and goes... <laughs> and falls with electricity. That's so cool. Ah, failed at making sandwich. Well, happens to the best of us. Do we get the, the skit now, please? Chef Rain, please? Oh, maybe we did get it already, and I, I, I watched it by myself, but then I just didn't record it. If that's the case, I'll find it in my off time, and I'll record it, and I'll show it to you right now. Now, everyone, eat up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll try some. Well, it's flavorful and has a remarkable texture. I've never eaten anything like this before. Oh, so I messed up again. <laughs> First aid! Did, did it happen, or did I not have that clip, and I've just lost that skitch forever somehow? Skitch? Well done, me. Oh, I didn't swap to uh, Kratos, which I meant to. Too bad you can't swap mid-fight in this game. Uh, which one's Omega Tempest? Got it. And then Photon, and we'll get a super out of this. Good. Uh, Thunderblade! Nice. And Power Hammer, why not? I think I missed my Power Hammer, maybe. <laughs> Photon Tempest! Nice. Man, even that didn't kill this little fart. Shell bottle. That's something that the old wizard people give you, and it just... What does it do again? I was just selling them whenever I found them, because I remember thinking, that doesn't seem very useful. Protects against magical ailments, but reduces attack by 20%. Okay, magical ailments means I'm not sure exactly what. <laughs> just any status, or only ones that happen by a spell? We haven't been uh, plagued by that too much. 
Corruption! Ooh, that's such a good support skill, too. Not too bad, I should say so. Or sh say not, whatever. Let's see if I uh, can... Can I mix his... We want Thunderblade, probably. I want Eruption as one of them, I think. More than I want Windblade for his... Uh, units. I guess it's just the same as his technicals, right? Like, like his actual commands for when I'm playing as him. Whoa, this place looks rocky and spooky. What's going on up here? This is like that Red Canyon thing in Final Fantasy VII. Ah, why is that? A cockatrice? Oh, those are ten tend to be pretty scary things in RPGs. Ow, stop doing that. Ow, ow. Oh, man, you got combo. Oh, that was a fat combo. I just wanted to parable on you because I figured it would be effective because you're a bird. It's effective just because it's a strong move anyways. Get out of here. Stone beak nothing. Ow, 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 ow. Grasshoppers just tank through everything, no matter what level I get to. It's ridiculous. Hema. Oh. So not Lewin, in fact. I guess my uh, <laughs> Silverant geography is not super strong as I had once thought. Oh, I remember this place, actually. The Village of Adventures, Hema. Uh, <laughs> it's a little more lively than what I remember it being like. What's going on here? Hema, the Village of Adventurers. Yeah, I heard, I saw the first time. What's going on, though? Hello? Murph, Murph. Right. I started a journey as per, te as per the teachings of church. Well, let me try that again. I started a journey as per the teachings of the Church of Martell, but man, is this tiresome. Yeah. Welcome to the Crimson Canyon. What store are you interested in? Customization various goods. What kind of customization can you offer? A nimble rapier. Cool. Stinger ring. <gasps> I have everything for it except a slicer ring. Ooh, wicked. Ruby wand, armet helm, red shield. Ooh, cool. It's probably pretty good. And we have an Omega Shield. I want this one, but I, I don't know. I forget where to buy a slicer ring. Let me have a look. Ah, where's map? Oh my gosh. Or am I only allowed to do that on the ma on, on the world map, maybe? I think that was the thing we could buy in Asgard, right? Uh, Typhoon, I think, is the weapons place. Yeah, slicer ring. Fuck, I don't want to go all the way back to Asgard. We just left. All right, well, let's see what's going on in Ahima. Maybe when we have an easier way to travel around, I'll make one of those. But probably by then, uh, <laughs> it won't really matter, will it? I bet you we can find a Wonder Chef around here if we look around. This just seems like just the kind of inn, doesn't it? Greetings, welcome to Echoes. One night is 240 God, would you like a room? You bet we would. We've been walking all day and we don't even know why we're here. <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. Thank you very much for that. For some reason we're not allowed upstairs? I'm sorry, the rooms on the second floor are being cleaned. Why do I feel like that means there's a murder going on in there? Well, probably not, that's maybe an overreaction. Could there be by chance a wonder chef? Some what is that? Hey, hello? Tell me that's a wonder chef. Gah! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that certainly seemed out of place. Um, I am the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. It's easy on the stomach and very healthy. I shall teach you the recipe for risotto. Sweet. Just rice and then some kind of vegetable, I guess. Maybe butter. <laughs> risotto requires two ingredients, some type of rice and cheese. Quiet ingredients for risotto. Thank you. Farewell. Roger that. Cheers. Appreciate it. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. A whole new recipe to, to start learning. Oh, that's the second one. So maybe I'm not. I was wrong when I said I think we're missing a whole bunch. Lloyd makes it with milk, onions, and mushrooms. Uh, ditto for genus. Oh, everyone does actually. Weird. There's just zero variation in the way they make this. Although I'm, I get, I guess when they get farther along, they will. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think Colette's gonna add fruit to it? <laughs> well, let's have Kratos make us some risotto as the next recipe. Do we have? We've got rice. Yeah. We got rice and cheese. Lots of it. Hey there. You guys came all the way out here. You must be really bored. Ah, uh, nah, we're just not sure what's going on. Oh, this is so cute! What's going on with you? Sometimes there's this weird man by the graves who stands there mumbling. He's kind of disturbing. <laughs> Alright, this is a nice, quaint little hamlet. The air is fresh and there is a really nice view at the top of the mountain. Of course, that's all there is, and the only thing they got is this rundown inn. Well, enjoy your stay. Thank you. I'm sure there's some reason for it, but frankly, he freaks me out. Graves, you say? I didn't realize there were graves. I didn't see them on the way in. I guess they're somewhere else around here. Save that. In case I die, I don't want to forget to get the risotto again, of all things. Did I talk to you already? This is Hema, the village of adventurers. Well, we call it a village, but really there's just an inn. So, everyone has been quick to note. Oh, hi. A cat skilled, are you? Meow. Purchase a mysterious gem with your grade? Why do you have gems? Ah, um, well, that's a secret. <laughs> Current grade four. Oh, I, oh, man, you did a lot of grade for them. Anyway, it's nice to know that they're, they're not a limited supply. You can get a whole bunch, uh, theoretically. Meow. Welcome to the cat's exploration team. Do you need help with something? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Is that cat's on the roof there to be talked to, or? No, I guess I can't hop onto the roof, can I? Hello. <coughs> These are the graves of the people who escaped from the human ranch. Those who escaped from the ranch are afflicted by a curse and eventually die. How long is this going to go on? As long as there are signs around, our lives will never be at peace. 
Well, it ain't exactly a curse, but I see what you mean. Rest in peace, y'all. All, all three of you, or perhaps more. I don't know if those bushes are the graves or what. Oh no, I guess it's the giant poles sticking out of the ground with things written on them. I might be slightly dumb. All three of you still anyways. Plus. What about up the peak of uh, Hemo over here? Anything interesting to note? Oh, there's a brazier there. Or a torch, I guess. Hello? Well, this is kind of funky. Wow! You can see the Tower of Salvation really well from here. Man, how far up does the Tower of Salvation go? Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me for just a bit. Hmm, uh, this looks like it's wide enough. Good, good. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm thinking of starting a new business here. This is going to be called Dragon Tours. Dragon Tours? You take a tour here to watch the dragons that fly by? Ooh, close. That's a good guess, kid. I'm starting a business where you ride on a dragon and see the Tower of Salvation up close. You can go to the Tower of Salvation? No, 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 no. They just fly around it. But still, it'll be the experience of a lifetime. Wow, that's cool. So where are the dragons? I'll bring them next time. Look forward to it until then. Bye. No one's going to wait around for your dragons. <laughs> hey, mister. I'll be waiting. <laughs> just, to, just to prove Genus wrong, more or less. Oh, Lloyd was feel, feeling that like that guy was upset and heard Genus. I'm pretty sure Genus said it quietly enough. Well, can't like this thing and uh, better be out of here then. But there's a good thing to note if we ever are looking for a way to fly over to the Tower of Salvation. So is that the thing that's, I guess, in the middle of the map, maybe? I don't really have a good view of it because you can't look around when you're on the world map. At the moment, anyway, it seems like that's all that's uh, to be found around here. And it doesn't look like there's any other new towns between here and Azul, rather, down at the southwest there. And that's where we've already been. So uh, that this is just for if we wanted to go back there at this point, I suppose. So I see we head to that village that uh, is the one that we haven't gone to yet uh, in the bridge right there in the middle. He and hopefully someone there has the key to the Tower of Mana, in which case we will be able to uh, go up there, break a seal. I mean, they did mention that that is how the, the people used to go to Tefa Aula, or how they got there at some point in their lives. So it sort of seems like maybe they're setting us up for some potential teleporting shenanigans there, doesn't it? And let's make some risotto there. Successfully preserved, prepared risotto. And let me also, uh, let me just put Lloyd, swap Lloyd and Kratos so that Kratos can be in our party for a bit. I didn't mean to play as Colette. Oh, hey, there's a skid over there. Uh, how do I get up there? Nah, oh, man, there was something in the bush and I didn't even see it. All right, so Demon Fang is probably how we do double Demon Fang, so let's try that. Eh. Let me try doing it in a combo. <laughs> Demon Fang. All right, that didn't do it so well. <laughs> Sonic Thrust probably makes Hurricane Thrust, so let's try Sonic Thrust. Eh. Sonic Thrust. Okay, maybe there are certain conditions that I'm not uh, n noticing, or maybe we need to be like one more level up or something. Whoa, that's so cool. His air attack goes like down below him. So you can be like, Hah! and like jump over someone and like cut them while you're going. It's kind of cool the way he plays. Ow. <laughs> Wanna charge is just a crazy thing to say to someone before jabbing them with a lightning rod. All right, simply doing that didn't get us him, him any of the new skills, so perhaps I'll let that lie for a bit until he's in another level or two. Ah, but air thrust. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess if uh, Genus got um, air thrust from Windblade, then he probably does as well. Oh, ditto with lightning. Oh, he's getting a lot of the same skills. Healing wind, interesting. So how is there a way to get up here? I wish I could turn the camera up. Bush, bush, bush. Oh, I love the way that just bounces them so you can, if, if in theory, if you were, if that was right at the end of the combo, that would um, give you time friend. to kind of, <laughs> you just put a dagger in the whole longsword scabbard. If you put eruption right at the end, oh, I failed at making risotto. That's okay. That's okay, Kratos. If you put eruption at the end of a combo, it would bounce them long enough that you could start the next one up, is my, is my point. All right, uh, Kratos doesn't seem to be getting these new skills. Maybe you'd have to use those moves just a bunch or something like that, but uh, okay, can you, let me just, before going into this town, check if there's a way to get into it uh, up, up on that ledge before, without going down. Oh, hey, is that a, an exclamation stone or whatever it's called? I should probably activate that, given I haven't been over here yet. I can use noise. I can't believe I didn't notice during all of that also that, uh, <laughs> Genus was never using anything other than water spells. Oh, now he adds carrots to his risotto. Oh, that would be yummy. These games have a habit of making you hungry sometimes. Long mode cannot be used by the ru uh, ruins eastern part and, and Asgard district. Great. Oh, there's also a skid over there. Oh, wait, I can get there. Let's go. Oh, hey, there's treasure here, too. Found a technical ring. Ooh. As opposed to the strike type ring we found before. I guess I might want that for someone. Um, do you get- is it different skills that you get from being technical or strike? Because I'm playing Colette Strike, but I might want the new skills anyways. So I might want to equip the technical ring for that. Well, everyone else is technical but me. Somehow I feel like that's an indictment of my skill level. <laughs> What's going on here? Staring out at the sea, friends. Man, they're all with rain somehow. <laughs> all these, like, sides things, it feels like. Professor, where did you study? Was it some really big school somewhere? I've never been to school. I took several tests, but... I never attended a formal school due to various circumstances. Wow. 
I never realized that people can get smart like you without going to school. As long as you have the will, you can study anywhere. I get it. <laughs> Since I don't have the will, I don't understand what you teach in class. Don't sound so proud about it. I know that you can do it if you just try harder. I mean, you're able to learn intricate crafting techniques. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I have the will to do that. I guess it's fine. Even though I sometimes can't achieve the desired end results. Like cooking? I hate to admit it, but yes. If there's a cooking school, I'd love to attend it. It'd probably be useless. You'll get better eventually. <laughs> See, on the one hand, I just want to pick the nice answers constantly. On the other, I feel like I'm skewing Rain's favor towards me, so we're going to end up romancing Rain by accident. Whatever, that's fine. We'll let it play out that way. Just, just so that we don't have to say it's useless. Even though that's maybe something that Lloyd would be tempted to say. You'll get better eventually. Thank you, Lloyd. Even if it is only to console me. It's funny, the last time we had a, a, a Rain and Lloyd um, side story skit thing like that, uh, Lloyd said something about, you don't have to try to console me. Or I, it was one of the options I had to pick anyways. Worry, Two butterflies. 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 <laughs> I bet you're at max now, aren't you? Great. Let's have someone else make a risotto. Um, Rain, there you go. Since you just expressed a bit of a desire to improve, you can't be any worse than me. Is that any consolation? I guess not, because she's like a super soldier, master mage, and genius tactician superhero. Oh, bonk, bonk. Oh, <laughs> Eruption is such a cool spell. Even though generally I'm into, I, I like um, water magic and stuff like that more than fire magic. Eruption's a cool ass spell, I cannot deny. Oh man, it's thick forest around here. No way to tell when we're about to be ambushed by something. Yeet. What do mercenaries do? We are hired soldiers. Sometimes I am a bodyguard like I am right now. Well, more so recently since there hasn't been a war in a long time. But I've heard rumors of rising tension in Palma Costa. Yeah, we were there. Were you not <laughs> privy to it? <laughs> I see. How much money do you usually get? It depends on the job. For this one, I received a sizable sum from Phydra. So, how much? Why do you want to know so badly? I want to know if it pays more than being a dwarven blacksmith. Who knows? I am hired for my skills. Dwarves are hired for their skills. There is not much meaning in who is paid more. That's true, you're no fun. That's true. You're not thinking about becoming a mercenary, are you? No way. I'm gonna study with Dad and improve my skills. And someday, I'm gonna build my own boat and travel around the world. Good. That is a good dream. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, to do that, the world needs to be at peace. Hmm. But if the world is at peace, mercenaries are out of jobs, right? Then you can come on to the boat that I built. <laughs> I'll think about it. Aw, <laughs> that was really sweet. I have zero desire whatsoever to pick any of the mean answers. I have not been incentivized whatsoever, so I will not do be doing that, probably. I mean, there might come a time where one of the answers is, is less uh, obvious whether it, which one is mean or not. I mean, we've had a few questions like that that were not side uh, skits, uh, skits that were like questions of which thing is the more moral thing to do or whatever. Who just leveled up? Lloyd did. Well done, you. All right, enough wandering. Let's go see what this town's all about. What even is this place? Oh, you know what? Actually, this looks kind of like Lewin. <laughs> Come get some. Oh, hey, that's the skill that um, that uh, Wind Mage boss used a minute ago. Oh, man, that does so much damage. It's like a thousand damage. I guess it does a lot of mana, too. What have here? This is Lewin. Cool. Whoa. Um, it's pretty shrek This is horrible. What's going on here? The City of Devastation, Lewin. Oh, man, that's so weird. What the hell has happened here exactly? And on a side note, does anybody have a key to the Tower of Mana? Oh, well, I guess we're not getting up that. I feel like I would stop me just to show me that that was breaking. Wow, we. So is it totally abandoned or are people just hiding refuge, seeking refuge on the other side of the town? Oh, this is this is a very weird experience having played the second game. Whoa. Sheena! Are you good? What happened? You're badly wounded. Oh, it's you guys. If you want to finish me off, now's your chance. I don't have any strength left to fight. That's not the idea. You're hurt badly. Professor, please! Heal her. I will. Come on, Rain. But first, okay, I want good. you to tell me what happened. For a second, I thought Rain was going to be like, I don't think we should. She's an enemy. It seems she has companions. <laughs> And this may just be a trap to catch us off guard. Well, then everyone turn a different, like, 90 degrees away from each other, so we're looking in all directions po possible. <laughs> You're as devious as you look. Yes, yeah, so if we could heal her first, that would be fine. We Call beat her once. Like. We can do it again if need be. Take a look at this city. 
Everything's in there. Yeah, do you, do you really think this is all just a trick? The science invaded. What? Do you know about the human ranch northeast of here? Yeah, we were there. The people of this city had been hiding some folks who escaped from the ranch. The Designs found out about it. And not only was the entire population forced to go to the ranch, but the city was destroyed. Jeez, so that's a huge watching? scale. It's Protecting nothing. them, I assume. I was just a little clumsy. The massive dirt stains all and like cuts all over your body say otherwise, but. Great, Rain, you didn't even heal her in time. No, oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it's Clara. She managed to get all the way here. Clara, you know who... Oh, wait a minute. Like, the, the mayor's wife? Stay back, you monster! Uh, is no one gonna help... Okay. Damn it! Speed up! Clara, there we please, go. calm down. Ow! That's not calm. <laughs> Colette, are you okay? Wait, where'd, where'd she go? Just backhand me and then disappear? That's pretty rude. Yes. Well, I don't know if I'm okay because I can't feel anything. Blood. Yeah, Rain, You're now right. would be a great time. Professor, please heal her. <laughs> Professor, please. Rain? Fine. But I swear you're all way too soft hearted for your own good. Jeez. We can figure it out after. I mean we already we know we're capable of beating her if it is a trick. My god. We're never gonna get the intel if she dies. How about that? Did you save me? What? Probably for the same reason you saved that man. <laughs> Thanks. I swear to repay Just normal this human decency. Farewell. No, 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 don't I leave. We need your intel. <laughs> of course. I'm trying to kill you. You think I'm going to stay and play nice with you in a place like this? I mean, I if 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 you could be convinced. <laughs> oh, that's true. But please be <laughs> You're not supposed to care about your enemy. It's too late. Did you, were you not privy to the fact that I just <laughs> saved your life? That should have tipped you off. This city is just like Acilia. No, it's even worse. The people of the city were killed and any survivors were taken away to the ranch. Yeah, at least we should rescue the survivors. Yeah, and we'll make those designs pay. I think it's just focus on fixing the problems before revenge. <gasps> the puddle makes splashies! Whee! Sorry, not reading the room well. Hello, are you alright? Mm. That woman is not with you? If you see her again, please thank her for me. It seems that monster stole the key to the Tower of Mana from me. What should I do? Well, that's a handy, hel helpful hint. Um, I hope I don't... Can I save, please, before fighting that? I don't know which way I would go to fight that and which way I would go to leave and save. Man, this place sure didn't uh, get off easy. All the senseless looting if they're not going to take any of this stuff, because they clearly left all the houses. Well, maybe they looted some of it, but who even knows? All right, well, I'll, I don't know where, where Clara went, but um, I guess we'll be exploring the town more to see if uh, she's around there, and hopefully we can convince her to calm down without having to pull a little marble action next time on Tales of Symphonia, because we're going to be where all the time. We've cover, uncovered a lot of the map this time. We've basically been everywhere everywhere in Silveron. Is that not right? Except for that bit in the middle, which I guess is... And I guess down there on the southwest, and that, in the middle of the, the ta that mountain region. There are a few places we haven't been anyways. Were we at the Tower of Salvation? No. We never got to the... No. That must be what's in the middle. So which one showed up when uh, Colette got announced as chosen? It was this, the Tower of Salvation, right? And the Tower of Mana, Mana was always there, I guess? So in the northern area, in the Tower of Mana, this is the area, okay, City of Hope. So th this is where our next seal is, probably. The parish town. Lloyd and the others ride at Lou in the City of Hope, which cared for the Tower of Mana. However, the town had been devastated. Pastor Picaring, when did we when did we learn his name? <laughs> the group headed northeast for the Asgard Human Ranch is how that ends. Okay, I was trying to figure out if it, maybe it mentioned in there where we were probably supposed to be going after this. Because I, I, I my, my instinct was to look for uh, the, the monster somewhere in the town, but I guess it went away. Okay, so we're gonna head to the ranch then. I mean, I'll still check around the, the town uh, next at the beginning of next episode anyways to see if there's anything I missed. Any more survivors that could be helped or anything like that. But then I suppose we're heading to the ranch now that we've been given cause. Man, Clara went all the way down from Palo Costa. That's, that's, that's a huge way. That's like the half of the world. <laughs> it's pretty shocking and also pretty uh, lucky that we ran into it again. Her, I guess I should say. We still don't really know where, where Chocolat is, do we? She just kind of got taken away. I guess there's every chance that she's at this next ranch. They couldn't really take her any farther away from Palo Costa. <laughs> I'm starting to get a bad feeling that Rain and Kratos playing the steadfast adults here is going to be a recurring theme. We're going to have more troubles with it. So if you haven't played this before or seen it before um, right now, what do you, do you, feel like we're gonna have more more troubles with those two potentially being a little too stern and letting people die in the future and if you have played it before do you do you seem to recall having that same of same premonition of that at this point or did you think that probably <laughs> or did it surprise you each time and you were just like man I thought you would stop this because I'm starting to feel like that's just gonna continue to be a problem and we might and it, we might not uh, force her hand in time next time to save whoever I'm a little concerned about that 
Anyhow, next video coming up on the channel is gonna be some more five on three houses where we're gonna be uh, sulking around the monastery, most likely. Ooh, I'm excited to go and see the inside of the tower at Mona after this. But the first things first, the ranch. I better not get ahead of myself. It certainly does feel like we're kind of coming to a head with all we've we've uh, analyzed in, in and uh, explored in Silveron here. It feels like we were they they must move us to Tethala sometime soon, right? Because how much more can we do in this place? But hey, maybe Lloyd's dream will come true sooner than he thinks, and we'll get a boat to explore some other areas in this area in uh, Silveron for all that. Anyway, super glad you came back for another episode of. Taylor's a Symphonia with me. Not sure why I'm doing this with my hands. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on. Hopefully I'll see you around. I'm just gonna be out of here. Peace! We'll be able to more than uh, respond with the tomahawk. But how, you ask, will she not die when this person's going to do 26 damage? Well, my friend, the answer lies before us. Ash is Healy Boy. He will bring her up to 35. Yay! Unless she gets crazy.